So one day, me and my friends were hungry, right? And we were like, dude, let's go get something to eat. And we came up with Carl's Jr. And we're all like, yeah, let's go to Carl's Jr. So the homegirl, she drives to Carl's Jr. We pull up to Carl's Jr. When we get there, we actually wanted to go through the drive-thru. That was the main thing that we were going to do. None of us wanted to actually go in. So when we get there, there's this, I'm not racist. I hate everybody equally. No, I'm just kidding. But I got to tell the truth so the story makes sense. Okay. So there's this African-American guy in the driver's seat with a baseball cap on, tats, you know, just doing him. And then there's somebody on a passenger seat and then there's somebody in the back seat. We are in a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. The point is, you can tell by the music that they were playing and the way that they were blocking the drive through that they don't give a crap, you know? And you, you could tell that other people were actually trying to avoid them. Like, they wanted to go through the drive through too. But they didn't want any altercation. So, you know, everybody's parking. And, and we, in our car, parked. But my friend ac accidentally hit her car because she was trying to squeeze in the, the parking spot. And he's blocking the whole driveway. You know? So I get out the car. I was in the back seat. And then, you know, I'm like huffing and puffing. I'm just like, oh my God, like that's so rude. You know, that's so inconsiderate. And then dude was like, what? You ain't gonna do shit, right? And then I lean my head to the side. And then I said, what did I say I was going to do? Because I didn't threaten him. I didn't, you know, say that I wanted to fight you. You know, all I said was, dude, that's rude that you are blocking the driveway when everybody, you know, it's lunch hour and people are trying to eat lunch. So then he's like, I'm not about to argue with no B. And then I'm like, okay, you know, obviously that's the only word he know is the B word. So I say, Dude, you sound like hooked on phonics. The cat jumped over the wall. I'm like, out of all the words in a dictionary, I'm like, that's all you can come up with is the B word. But anyway, you could tell that he's one of those dudes that think that that word hurts everybody. So anyway, you know, I'm still cool or whatever, you know, and then there's like a Caucasian couple right here that were there way before my, my party. So it's like, y'all, you guys should have been inside ordering your food, sitting down, eating already. But, you know, they're watching and then, you know, people are watching over here. And then, so he says, I'm out the car and he's still in his car, you know. So then he says, B, that's why you ugly. I looked at this dude and I said, you think I'll wake up trying to look cute, nigga? Then the dude didn't have a comeback. So he said, bitch, suck my, you know. And I said, gladly, honey, when you grow one. And then, you know, I'm thinking, you just told me you don't argue with B-I-C. What? I spelled that wrong. B-I-T-C-H-E-S is, right? But you're steady going back and forth with me, though. Then the dude got the nerve to say, we'll see, homie. And I'm like, dude, I'm not a homie, you know? Then he drive off and say, that's why you can't get a nigga. And I said, I don't, I don't want one, you know? And then I'm like, and if I did, he wouldn't look ugly like you. 
And then he's driving off. And then he's like, Bleh. he's like, F your mother. And I said, wow. I said, F that B too. You know, he was just so mad that he couldn't get under my skin. And, and, and not really F my mother, but I was just throwing that out there. You know, like anything you say couldn't phase me. And then I was like, dude, I'm like, you could have even made fun of my gap, like, you know, but no, B, 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 B. So then, you know, <laughs> me and my party walk into Carl's Jr. And then the Caucasian couple that was outside, they're behind me when they should have had their food a long time ago. And then, you know, I order my, my burger or whatever. And then while I'm up at the fountain, what are they called? Soft drinks? When I'm up at the fountain, this lady come up to me and she gives me a hug. And she's like, honey, she's like, it's okay. Don't let him get under your skin. She's like, we all saw him. We all saw what he did. Have a blessed day. And I was like, you too, ma'am. You too. I was amazed. Thank you. Thank you.